have a monkey in your pants? Alright then folks, how's it going? This is um, a mystery package because I've really genuinely forgot what's in it. But uh, first of all, um, I'll talk headsets. Now, you know what I'm like with previous Xbox One videos, if something's noisy or something's not quite right, it bugs the Jesus out of me. And I recently picked up, um, they're in the packaging because I just took them out of the box because they're ready to go back because they're shite. Um, turtle, turtle Beach, Turtle Beach, Turtle Beach. Um, Air Force Stealth 500p headset, um, surround headset for the PS4. Um, this is what it is. Sorry, I've just had a bit of a brain fart. Yeah, um, they are not very good to be honest with you. I'll put it back in the box because they're going back because they're quite shite, especially considering how much money they cost. Um, problem being is common problems on the internet. I'm not making stuff up in my head because. I'm not crazy, even though some people think I am. But um, <clears throat> there's constant buzzing in them, um, and the only way to get rid of it is to mute the microphone, and they just don't sound really good. And I can't be doing with that buzzing. And um, if you're chatting, other people can hear the buzzing as well. It somehow comes through the microphone, so absolutely guff pants. Um, I've only had them a few days or so, but they are going straight back there. And um, so I instead, because not much more money than what these are, and I've heard of these before and stuff like that. And um, it, funnily enough, the Turtle Beach ones, they're, they're wireless, and every time I've had a wireless headset in the past, there's been issues with them. Um, go back PS3 type days, etc. Like, and I've always went, ended up going wired, funnily enough. So I went wired, if I can get that on the screen. Um, I've got a set of Astro A40s um, with a mix amp. Um, they're really, really good price just now in Argos because um, it's 2013 mix amp or whatever instead of the newest, newest one. Um, they're basically it's basically the exact same headset and mix amp than the brand new ones, brand new ones, and it's nice. It's white and it goes with a white PS4. And it looks beautiful, but um, yeah, really, really good price on Argos. So um, they're decent. Really, really, really good sound, and the mic's not amazing on it. And I will be using um, these for um, gameplays. Uh, I used to use a really awkward setup HDMI cable going in a special box, which took out the audio signal, which fed it into the PC so I could listen to it on with a set of PC headphones. And the headphones had the mic, and that's how I'd done it. But with this, um, it basically can mix, it's called a mix amp. It's, it's this isn't why it's called a mix amp, but it can take your voice and the game audio and output it through a three and a half mil jack and um, that can go straight to my PC and record it. So I'm going to do that for easy use and we'll see how the mic goes. Um, it's not the best, it's a bit muffly, low quality compared to the PC headset, but they're two different things. But I think it'll get the job done for YouTube and I'm not a professional YouTuber when it comes to play gameplay videos. And yeah, so it'll do the job, but they look really, really nice. I wasn't going to show them or anything, but I might as well. I'm not even going to edit this, so stay there. I don't know if you can see my bum or not. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Just sing amongst yourselves. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Did you miss me? Um, that's the headset there. The mic and stuff. Um, very nice, very shiny. Very beautiful. I'm going to put them back. Da, 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 da. Keep singing. Da, 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 da. And my room is a mess because... Um, hello! I'll just keep talking. My room's a mess because I've just finally like had like a, a big plug adapter. You can't see me, can you? With all the cables and stuff just scattered and I've just finally sorted it all out and I've just finally connected and I connected up the headset and all that and I've got cables here because I've realised that I've still to connect up my retro console so I can capture the gameplay on them and stuff. So just trying to find splitters and whatnot for all them cables. So um, I probably spend hello. I probably spend more time dicking about than playing games. So it is. But um, I just completed the order 1886 recently. This is just going to be a waffle and a pickup video. I've decided it was just going to be a straight up. Let's open this box. But it's an everything pickup video waffle. Nonsense. I'm out of breath. Did I bounce really hard or something? Um, so the new Astros, or my new Astros, 
Um, they're good, really, really good. Sound a lot better than those Turtle Beach ones. Um, and we'll just see how I go with the microphone side of things. Um, I can't remember what I was saying. Tidy in my room. Blada, blada, blada. Yada, blada. Um, another thing. Uh, quite a few people have asked me about Games Master videos and Bad Influence videos. They will be coming back probably this week. Um, start them again. Just, just been busy and stuff as it goes. And I, I wanted to play some video games. Hence why um, I, I recorded some stuff. And uh, yeah, there may be more longer gameplay playthroughs on the channel because I want to actually play some proper games as such. Um, I want to play Luigi's Mansion, I might play that soon. I might even bring back You Say I Play. Bring back, I never even brought it out in the first place. I've done an intro for it once. Um, I'll maybe say three games that I'm really, really wanting to play that I've not played before that I'll play through for the channel. Um, I'll let you guys vote and see what's what. I know game, long gameplay or playthroughs aren't everybody's cup of tea, but um, if four people watch them and enjoy them, that's good enough for me. I enjoy making them and I enjoy um, editing them and playing the game. You know, I need a drink. I'm too much talking. Hold on. It is the unedited video because I really I can't be hooped. Um, so, uh, headsets, tidying room. Um, well, I'll say actually as well. Um, Dean Thompson from Escape to Gaming. Um, he put up a video recently. He, he hadn't been very well at all. Um, he wasn't looking too great, and um, I think he went back in the ER yesterday. Today. Um, so I hope he's really well, and my wishes and th thoughts. And I'm not a religious person, but prayers are uh, with Dean at the moment, and I hope hope everything's fine over there. Um, he's a lovely, lovely guy. If you know who. Dean is or escape the gaming channel, um, you'll agree that as well. But I really hope he's all right. So big love to you, Dean. I hope you're fine, um, and we'll hopefully hear from you soon. But uh, oh, this is random, isn't it? That was a bit serious for me. This came. Make sure my dress is invisible. No, it's not visible. This box came. That's not my dress there, so there's not even point in freeze framing it and try to look at it. Um, I've had I been sitting in the room for about a week. It's quite heavy. Um, I think I've got an idea what it is, but I can't really remember. I've just, because my room's been so messy. I'm not the messiest to people, tidiest to people. I'm not the tidiest to people. So I thought, right, for shits and giggles, I'll have a look what it is. Real life on camera. This is the mysterious unboxing of. This is the unboxing of a mysterious box. <gasps> that could be like a quiz show. Philip Schofield, I want the rights to it. Ooh, there's some newspapers in here. Da -da 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 fucking hate packaging. Look. I think it's just heavy newspapers with bricks. Right. I just I just said I was tidy in this room and Ooh, I don't know what it is. I can't remember who I bought this off the wall. <laughs> Somebody on Facebook, I think. I think I've already got one of the first games that I saw there. Yeah, it was quite cheap. There was some games that I wanted in it. So I don't know if I'm sitting off at a bit of an angle, but um, they were probably one of the rarest games on the ZX Spectrum, along with Make a Chip. And that is sarcasm. It's Scrabble, which I already have. These are Spectrum games and stuff. The Scrabble. Um, do not know what this is. Role playing adventure for the Spectrum slash ZX81. When the fuck was this made? Black Crystal. There you go. Black Crystal. Role playing adventure. Oh, it must be. Oh, no way. Look. I'm saying look. It must be big. Look. Two cassettes and a, a notebook, and it's got map one. I can't get out there destroy them. Map one, two, four, five, six, and oh, this is the kind of stuff I like finding like old stuff. Somebody obviously played this game. Look, they have drawn me a map for my adventure, which awaits. It's got north, south, east, and west on it, as well as some random numbers. Can you see that? 
I love that kind of random shit that you I like I'd I'd really love to know when this was um drawn and by who? Was it like a geeky twenty four year old or was it a twelve year old boy in nineteen eighty three or who done it, who knows? And look they've even got map one, warrior, wizard elf, warrior. Oh I don't even know you see all that. Look at that. Again, I love that kind of stuff and then the manuals in there as well. I will keep that stuff with it because that's part of the history of the game in my eyes. Whoever owned this in 1983 or after liked the game to be making a map. Right. We've got Horizon Software Starter Park. No idea what this is, but I've got about 16 million copies of it and this game won't shut now. There we go, my black crystal. An epic adventure won't shut. Right. No. Oh, Fuck off. Did I not have one of these in the, the other Spectrum video? Grand National. Uh, I'll say, um, Nathan Cooper, I sent you a Facebook picture earlier on of your Spectrum finally boxed up. I'm sorry it's taken me so long. I'd love to say I've been really busy, but I kind of have, but not too busy to box up your Spectrum, so I apologise. Especially because it was more or less in a box. I just had to sort it out a bit better. But it will be in the post to you or with a courier at the start of the week. Um, four Soccer Simulator by Codemasters. There we go. Um, classic, classic specy game. I do have it. Tapper in like a hardy plastic box. And this is one of the games that I saw, which I didn't have, which I wanted. Um, Buck Rogers. There we go. I think actually, Mad Ad Adam, Mad Gaming, you know who you are. You keep tagging me. On Spectrum for Sale posts on Facebook. Keep doing it, mate. It's appreciated. But Buck Rogers, Planet of Zoom. Sega, the arcade winners, Planet of Zoom. That's fucking epic. And this game as well. This is another one that I saw that I wanted. Uh, in the same sort of hard box, uh, US World game. But there you go. Blue Max. I keep looking at the screen to make sure I've not got a glare on it. I originally played this game on the Commodore 64. The sort of the bread binny type coloured, you know what I mean, brownie coloured one. Never played on the Spectrum. As much as I love the Spectrum, Commodore 64 probably better version. I don't know. But another one that I didn't have, Blue Max. I really don't think I've got this. I might be wrong. Hold on. I don't think I do have it. And that's why I want it as well. It's a hard case again. Pretty cool. Um, the, the plastic's coming away at the bit at the top, but it's ghosts and goblins. Look at that! I, I've got the game, but I don't think I've got this variation of it. Um, I just had to make sure it said Spectrum on the front there because they're back. It's not Spectrum graphics, but yeah, ghosts and goblins again, another hard one, hard case. So, of course, uh, the hard black plastic cases. I've got quite a few of those games like that. Saboteur, amongst others, European champions. Fucking football games after the last one. Um, and I think I might have this. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm pretty sure I do, though. I'm not 100% sure. It's, um, it's Konami's. Imagine the name of the game Konami's Coin Up Hits. Um, Green Berry. Classic game. Green Berry. Berry? Green Berry. I know it's not that. Green Berry. Yar Kung Fu. Absolutely amazing. Ping Pong. Again, it's alright. I actually played this back in the day. Mikey Classic and Hyper Sports, another classic game. Um, I can't remember if this was one of the games that I had in my giant shit sports bundle recently. This is a weird ass box, I think that's for sure. But it's not even look at it's, it's like a box that's not a box. Somebody just put it in this box and it's not even really a. I don't know, but it's Nigel Mansell's Grand Prix. Oops, so right at the back, no spectrum graphics. Whoa, I've not got this. Whoa. Darren Akari's. That's who owned this game, Darren Akari. Can you see that? Darren Akari's Triple Pursuit for the Spectrum. I love when right people write on shit. Oh, there's more underneath there. I'll speed this up a bit because the Spectrum's in. Aren't everybody's cut? Fuck off. Supreme Challenge football stuff. Look, world champions Peter Shilton's hand 
Paul Maradona. Really? Football manager, Peter Bardsley, Beardsley. Sorry, I don't do football, right? International football, soccer supremo. Yeah. Oh, fuck yes. <laughs> I'm not going to be playing those games, but they're not boxed. But these were in there, as long as the original games. Football shite. These were also in there. Marble Madness. Hopefully you can see that. As well as Death Wish 3. That game's fucking epic. Oh well, that makes up for being um, shite plus shite. Plus shite. Football games. <laughs> I saw this actually. I got no idea where it is. Good the size of that box. Their finest hour. All the excitement and tension of the Battle of Britain. What's going on here? Oh, that's nice. Look. I've got Super Cycle inlay. I can see what's going on here. Death Wish 3 inlay. Nice. I will get rid of one of those other rubbish sports games. Um, some inlay thing. This is the Battle of Britain. Oh, no, they're not the Battle of Britain. They're Finest Hour. Look, it's the biggest box ever for a little cassette. Because of instructions. This is what I love about Spectrum games. The box is beaten up and whatever, whatever. Who cares? Um, I, I never have seen or heard of this game in my life. That's the bonus of having so many um, Spectrum games ever. You know what? Is there another box that didn't open? No. Just because I saw the Super Cycle. Well, that cassette is going to be in there somewhere. But Death Wish 3 played that originally on the Commodore 64 as well. I know. Blasphemy. All right. There's cassettes in here or something. Cheetah. 125 plus classic retro joystick back in the day work on spectrums come to 64s amigas atari sts cassettes are in here these are all um non-covered ocean super bowl there you go is that that no that's super cycle um super sprint i'm in a really awkward turning position here um so what the fuck colossus chess 4.0 and um, Rampage. I do have Rampage. <laughs> I find it quite funny how excited I can get about a little cassette from the 80s. And um, this looks in alright condition as long as it works. It's uh, very wibbly. Well, look at the movement on that. Non micro switch, these things aren't, but it's cool. A Cheetah 1 to 5 plus joystick. It's pretty cool. Get back in the box, you bugger. So, that's two Spectrum joysticks I've got. What the hell is this? It was, what? Now look at the size of this for a box. The Great Space Race. See what I mean? See if you saw this in a shop. It's got no no graphics on it, but you'd like, whoa, look at this game, mum. What the fuck is this? It's got a manual the size of the bloody Bible. It's still got no pictures. It's got like comic strips. Nothing that tells you what the game's all about. Put back this little box and is this is this no way is this like a 1980s poster this is epic i need to get some blue tack i've got a couple of posters oh my god that's an amazing condition that would be an absolute travesty to stick that on the wall so it got destroyed wow that's fucking epic that is see that the great space race poster the zx spectrum that is like mint minty minty it smells nice very minimal creasing where it's been folded. That's pretty cool. I do like that. Oh man. That is, that's pretty good condition considering how old it fucking is. I've got Robocop posters that's in miles worse condition than that from the Spectrum. Right. I'm running out of space. Joystick balance. Right. We'll crack on. I'm, I'm, I'm just, you can tell my love for the Spectrum. Um, I fucking hate newspapers. Right, another one of those hard plastic boxes from the start. I can't get over this actually. No idea, hiya, no idea what this game is, but the poster in it. It's fucking awesome. 
Um, Bounty Bob Strikes Back. In one of those hard boxes. There you go. Another one I've not got. Um, this Horizons. I've got like five million of them. I don't even know what they are. I'm really impressed by that. The greatest was it the great space race poster? That looked awesome. Um, I'm speeding things up a bit here. Another Firebird game. I do collect Firebird games. Bomb scare. There you go. This one's not got um, a uh, cassette, but case for it, I should say. But I can easily get one. It is um, spooked. If you can see that. Even the case for that space race is like some weird plasticky cushion thing. Sorry. Um, Shinobi, I do think I have that already. It's, it's the classic Shinobi. With Horizon Software Starter Pack. If you want a Horizon Software Starter Pack, let me know. I'll post one out to you in the fucking post. America, wherever. Just for shits and giggles. Lord of the Rings. Look, it's a cassette. It's exciting. Right, um... Super cycle, that's for that big box, that's for the inlay, and I'll rape a crappy sports game. There you go, you see that? I'll rape a crappy sports game, but put that in that. Travesty. Um, playable demo, free games. Um, I do have actually a lot of these playable demos. This guy's on the front, the big crybaby. I'm not that arse about them, but I do have fucking loads of them, they take up a lot of space. Stonkers, a game by Imagine, Stonkers. Stonkers. You ever heard of Stonkers? There's loads of these um, games by Scion that look like that, but I've not got backgammon. I do now. And I don't think I have chess either, but I do now. Um, I wish all these had their inlays, but hey ho, Dungeon Master. Just because I, I love the artwork of them as well. I'd be curious to see what they look like. That's another part of the Lord of the Rings game. Um, this game is a game that I had my own buy for a little while. I played it originally at my cousin's house on a little splug. It's a 3D isometric game in similar sort of style of head over heels. And the Batman game that's like it and Gunfright, apart from your scuba diver. No, you're not a scuba diver. That's Hydrofool. But it is the same sort of thing. You're sort of a cleaning lady or something. But it is Rent a Kill Rita. There you go. Um, I, I was wanting that game, actually. The names of these games, man. What kind of game is this? This has to be played and soon. Because I've got no idea what it is. If any of these guys, if you, just for shits and giggles, if you want to do a gameplay any of these games that you've seen, please let me know and I will, because half of them I haven't bloody heard of. This game is called Thingy. Can you see that? Thingy and the Doodas. Sounds like something I'd make up. Um, Everest Ascent, an adventure game of strategy and planning. Stra an adventure game of strategy and planning. Everest descent, ascent, not descent. It's easy to des descend Everest. You can just jump. Um, what's this? I don't know. Shadow skimmer. Again, not boxed. I'd rather it, it was properly boxed. Um, John Barrington squash. Hmm. Reverse eye. One of the cyan games. Is it? It's not, it's moi, moi, software by moi. Or Othello, it says, in the same sort of style as those games. Another one, um, what, it says Time Gate on the side, then 4D arcade adventure for the 48k Spectrum. Time Gate. Wow. Shit. Nearly had a spillage. Caught it. Well, sort of caught it. We're so good, I'm not editing this. Because it's been going for 25 minutes, and I thought, <laughs> fuck off, football. Shit. Football director. Um, another Mastronic game that I do not have is Bullseye. Pretty cool. Um, Ski Simulator by Codemasters. I think I do already have that. Not got this one. Video Poker. And is it called Video Poker or Entertainment USA? Las Vegas Video Poker. There you go. I don't know. And finally, um, I do not have this game as well. It's Starion. There you go. All done, I think. Empty. Empty, empty. So, I love that, um... What the great space? Well, I don't even know what that is. Space race. I think that's what it was called, poster. That was fucking epic. I'm, I might have to get that up on the wall somewhere, because it looked amazing. It'd be a shame, especially if it got ruined, because it's in good condition, but it's just too epic to maybe not have on the wall. So, yep, um, new headsets. 
Turtle Beach headsets are shite. Um, got new ones. Um, Games Master and Bad Influence episodes will be coming back very, very soon. Um, Dean Thompson from Escape to Gaming. My thoughts and wishes are with you, my man. My man, if I can speak. Um, I hope you're feeling better soon and have a swift recovery. Um, I really, really do hope you're all right. And an absolute fuck ton of Spectrum games to try and fit on that shelf. Look at the dead iron brew cans. That's from gaming late at night. Um, to try and fit on that shelf somewhere because they're getting quite full of Spectrum games. Does anybody else do Spectrum pickup videos on YouTube? I would like to know, out of sheer curiosity. But, um, yep, that's it for me, guys. I was going to show you something else, but that's for another video. That's it for me, guys. As always, thank you much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you the next time. Do you have a monkey in your pants?